this would take care of your arthritic and inflammatory problems. Yeah. And as well as your anxiety and the stress. It's marketed as a miracle cure-all. Like I used CBD for a good while and it's, it's pretty good. But what are you really getting when buying CBD? Fox 11 is going undercover. We're purchasing CBD at different locations across Los Angeles. And we're teaming up with Dr. Oz to have it professionally tested with startling results. We were able to find additional microbial contamination. This is just the wild, wild west that really is. This investigation is going to be eye-opening because it's going to give us a glimpse into an industry with little regulation. I'm excited to partner with Fox 11 and Fox LA to pull back the curtain on what you could be really getting when you purchase CBD products. CBD or cannabidiol is one of the most prominent components of the hemp plant. Unlike marijuana, CBD has little or no THC, the psychoactive part of the plant that gets you high. Proponents say CBD has all the benefits of medical marijuana without the intoxicating side effects, able to help with pain, anxiety, insomnia, epilepsy, even cancer and heart disease. Sales have been exploding, but there is almost no government regulation, which can open consumers up to the unknown. In this country, when we buy something, we expect to get what we pay for. That's why Dr. Oz is joining forces with Fox 11. His team purchased several different CBD products in New Jersey to test. At the same time, our Fox 11 undercover photographer and I went to a variety of locations here in our viewing area as we played the part of interested buyers. We stopped by several stores selling CBD all of which advertise major health benefits for the product. Let me try that and I'll get the peach things. And we purchased a mix of CBD infused goods, ranging from edibles to creams and liquids. Okay, so we've now gone around to several different locations and we got a bag full of different CBD products right here. And we're gonna take all of this, everything we bought today, we're gonna take it up to the lab for testing. After a quick drive up to Chatsworth, we arrive at Nascent, a premium cannabis testing lab. We delivered our CBD products to their team, and the lab began processing them for testing with the samples Dr. Oz's team bought. And less than 24 hours later, all of the results are in. In terms of safety, this one failed, the gummy bears, this one failed, and this one failed. Pediatrician Dr. Pedro Salampour and nascent COO Dr. Leah Schaefer reviewed all of the testing results with Fox 11. When it comes to CBD levels, five of the samples had a reading of ND, meaning no CBD was detected, despite claims on the labeling. If you have a consumer that's trying to take it medicinally, then, you know, it's basically snake oil. Out of all the samples tested, only one product had what it claimed. Two others were close. Five products had no CBD detected. Four products had significantly less CBD. And one product had more CBD. And some of the products had major health concerns. One of them was this CBD lemonade shot we bought in Hollywood. Testing showed it contains no CBD, but it did test positive for abnormally high levels of ethanol. These CBD gummy bears purchased by the Dr. Oz team also tested positive for high levels of ethanol. But it was these CBD gel caps brought into the lab by a concerned customer that had the most startling results. They did have CBD in them, but they also tested positive for a strain of E. coli that produces the deadly bacteria known as Shiga toxin. Not only is the consumer not getting any medicinal value from it, they're actually introducing uh, uh, toxins into their system. A lot of people take CBD um, uh, because they have cancer. And the thing about patients who have cancer who are undergoing chemotherapy is that they're immunocompromised. The last thing you want to do um, uh, to an immunocompromised person is introduced a whole bunch of microbes yeah. into their body. E. coli. Mm -hmm. Testing showed those same gel caps also had almost three milligrams of THC per cap when it's supposed to have zero THC. Three milligrams is a lot. Three milligrams is enough to get a grown man or a grown woman high. A child that weighs 10 or 20 kilos would definitely get very, very high for a very long time with that amount of THC. That can be a huge problem for parents who give CBD to their kids, believing it will cure their ailments. This stuff is packaged and designed to look like medicine. When you buy medicine, you expect clinical precision. But unfortunately, the lab results show something very, very different. And that's why Dr. Salampour says, even though there are good actors in the CBD marketplace, 
This investigation shows buying CBD can come down to a roll of the dice with your money and more importantly, your health. There's no way for a consumer to know that it has failed these tests. And that's why it's a, a crapshoot. That's why it's the wild, wild west, because there's nobody regulating the uh, production or sale of CBD products today. Now, even though the sale of industrial hemp was legalized via the Farm Bill last year, the FDA still considers CBD a drug, so technically it's still illegal for it to be sold in any food or drinks or as a dietary supplement, essentially exactly how it's being sold right now. And that's why there's no federal regulation. Now, the National Hemp Association says that's a big problem, telling us in a statement in part, quote, Current inconsistencies happen with CBD products due to a lack of standards and regulations. These regulations will be vitally important for consumers, not only to ensure that what is in the product is what is on the labels, but also for consistency in dosing. It is imperative that the FDA quickly develop a legal and reasonable regulatory path for CBD products to protect both consumers and the industry." End quote. So guys, just to put it in the big picture for you, out of the 13 products we tested, only three of them came close to what was advertised on the label. Bill, you wow. touched on something really important in your story, and that's parents that give CBD to their kids that have ailments or other issues. This seems like the wild, wild west. It absolutely is. Look, for instance, uh, the FDA has only approved one single drug that has CBD in it. They did it in June of last year, and it's a drug called Epidiolex. It's used to treat uh, two very rare forms of childhood seizures. It works very well, but unfortunately, it costs 30 grand a year. Wow. Not a lot of parents have that kind of money. So what they're doing is they're going out to stores and they're buying the kind of CBD products that you saw in the story right there just off the shelves, hoping to give it to their kids and hopefully help them. And as you just saw in the story, who knows what you're getting in some of these products. There are good actors out there. There are some good companies that have what they say on the labels, but as you can see, you know, not all the products live up to the bill. And to wrap up, we'll see more with you and Dr. Oz on... On Friday, yeah, we, we taped an entire segment with them. They're gonna air our investigation. That'll be uh, on their Friday show, Friday afternoon. So. All right, all right yep. Bill. set your DVR.